to tell you, I was pastoring in Abuja and I was one of the person that hated Islam. But one of the things that happened, I have an encounter with Allah. Not that instead of compromising, I will better leave the Christianity. That night, I slept. I had an encounter. The encounter I had was I saw five persons. I was sitting in their middle. Then we are reciting. Hi guys, you're welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking. So this Nigerian pastor gave his reasons why he converted to Islam. So let's listen to him. Just become a Muslim. Some people, when you hear someone say, I am a Muslim, I want to accept Islam. People will say the person is going because of money. Ah, money. As a matter of fact, where I am coming from is where there is money. When you hear the former governor of a point state, ah, Dr. Sam is my uncle. Lord of God. So, my father is a deceased superintendent of a church in Abuja. But I will not mention the church. Hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> For security reasons, yes. <laughs> so one of the reasons why I want to tell you, I was pastoring in Abuja and I was one of the persons that hated Islam. Oh, wow. As a matter of fact, wow. when I was a Christian, I cannot give indulgence with what my pastors here have given. I cannot sit in the midst of Muslim to argue something. Ooh. But one of the things that happened, I have an encounter with Allah. Oh. Not that somebody oh, came that. to preach to me and say, become a Muslim. But he came to a time, there is something that transpired between I and my general overseer. Oh. And that thing that transpired, we did not fight. He loved me more than any other pastors in the church. But there's one thing he asked me to do. I say, I will not compromise in doing it. Instead of compromising and involving in this atrocity, I will better leave the Christianity. Oh. That night, I slept. I had an encounter. The encounter I had was I saw five persons. I was sitting in their middle. And they were having beers. Some of their beers were bigger than my own. Some of the beers were like our malam. And just the way our malam dressed, they tied their top wow. And they surrounded me. Then we are reciting La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. So in that trance, I was also reciting La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. My wife slapped me. Oh, he said, What are you saying? You are singing Muslim song. I say the blood of Jesus. As a matter of fact, I condemn it. But what happened was I had to get a copper and ask him, look at the dream I had. I want you to give me interpretation of that dream. He said the interpretation of that dream. If you have a spirit tormenting you, then can pray such kind of prayer to cast out that spirit. I said, but I'm not a Muslim. Your God has no right to deliver me. Why that thing transpired? He told me that Allah has his ways when he wants to call people. Allah chooses to call men in different ways. But, Pastor, maybe Allah is calling you. I went back home. I begin to... The dream I had was recalling in my memory. I was reciting that la ilaha illallah even when I was not pronouncing it, but it was yes, repeating memory. my memory. That is how I become wow. a Muslim. Allah Akbar. I have a little encouragement to give us. One sweet thing about Islam. Islam is a total way of life. Islam the worship of Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah. Those days in Christianity, we sing, Our Father in heaven, we glorify, glorify your name. name. We bow down before you, and we are standing. Allah, Allah. Allah. Are we not lying? 
That is lie. When you say I have all that before you, you, you should radicalize it by public. Hey. That is Islam for you. I will not want to digress by word and say, but I want to tell you, let us take away the IQ that Islam kills. When you read the Hadith, there is a place that the Prophet say that whenever someone kills, the law is that the person must kill them. But there is a condition. You must make sure the weight of that knife must be as heavy as the knife they use in stabbing that person. You must make sure it must be exactly that point you will stab that person. The quantity of blood that will rush out and the time and minute that person dies will be the same time Allah that Allah person Allah. will die. Allah. A man who gives such an order, did he ask you to kill or no. not? No. no, not Is it possible to retaliate at that particular no. way? At all. That simply means Islam prohibits killings. Wow. Wow. May Allah help us. Amen. Alhamdulillah. Takbir. 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 Allah. What is it from the horse's mouth? He's not paid. And if you listen to his speech, we discover we know that it's actually coming from that side. Allah has guided him. He asks, when you go to Zuba, the fly over in Zuba, you see some of his posters there up till now. They are going to be removed. Alhamdulillah. So but we are going to we are going to uh, shut it like that, please. I want to call on the second Muhammad. Okay. You can see when pastors are coming into Islam. Sure, sure. They decide to take the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Very interesting one, guys. You know, he was a devoted Christian. He's a pastor, but he had altercation challenges with his other pastors. Something that I think is based on misunderstanding. That thing happened, and he was not happy about it. So he said he just had a nap. He decided to take a sleep. Then from there, he had a dream, whereas five men he was in the middle of five men they were wearing jalabia white they have long beards and they use scarf to you know the way muslim tie their head scarf the men so it was like in the dream was what he was going on then from there they just started saying the word god is great god is great he said a lot of things about islam that was like wow he said you know in the in Quran, they said anybody that kills, you should kill the person back. But he let us understand the interpretation of that message. No, no, maybe somebody kills somebody unjustfully, but you can only retaliate if you can do it exactly the way it happened to that person that was murdered. So indirectly, he's not trying to pass any message that you should kill. A lot of people keep on converting to Islam. And most of the story I do here is that dreams, 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 a lot, God is calling them into light, that they should leave the darkness. There was a time a pastor, is a pastor said, okay, he was in the darkness, so you know, Allah was trying to call him into light, so he was having some dreams. Well, I just thank God for his life. That was a beautiful testimony. That was a beautiful testimony, but wow, that was so quick and fast. Like for a pastor that was really devoted in his church and for him to, you know, accept Islam. It's something that actually shocked me. I'm just imagine his wife's reaction to that particular decision he made. Did the wife accept it instantly? How long did it take him for him to become a Muslim? I wish he went deeper to explain the whole journey was for him. But that was a beautiful one. Nice one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.